How's it going, people? Welcome back. I put off uh, about the last video in this series for a little later. Uh, had a bunch of things to do. Had to clear my head to do those things. All right, this is the last part, and it's been raining all day. Lots of fun. Uh, seven, the finale. The Bible's transforming power. That's the spirit. <sighs> Many thrilling stories could be told about the Bible's power to transform people's lives. Drunkards have been made sober. Harlots have become pure and decent. Thieves have been made honest and upright. The Bible has lifted, has lifted ignorant, superstitious men from the depths of evil bondage and transformed them into men of God. Cannibals of the jungles have been transformed into gentle, peace-loving men by the message of the Bible. And please, send more friars. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Uh, no one need despair, for the good news of the Bible is that there is hope for everyone. Jesus Christ is the central figure of the Bible. He is the core and the circumference, uh, wait, circumference, circumference. Very small print. Lighting isn't great right now. Uh, he is the core and the circumference of the book. I, I raise my voice when it's capitalized. This is a shortcut. Anyone who studies this book believes its message. According to this person, anyway, in his experience. <laughs> and receives the Christ whom it reveals will experience a complete change of life. The Bible lifts men up to God because the book came down from God. Truly, the Bible is the Word of God. Why not get acquainted with this marvelous book? <sighs> Begin reading in the New Testament and read thoughtfully, openly, and honestly. Prepare to meet yourself in its pages. That's interesting. I read the Bible and I didn't get that experience. Although I'd heard so much about it, it was really a letdown. And definitely a game changer reading the book for myself. I just like did it back in my early 20s. Just read at least one chapter one after another sequential and I just read the whole book. And then I read, read it and filled notebooks up with notes. So yeah, I've been through it a few times. I recommend it but I didn't get this experience. Probably why I'm where I'm at and this guy is in Quaker Town somewhere. Begin reading in the New Testament and read thoughtfully, openly, and honestly. Prepare to meet yourself in its pages. 
The word of God is dot 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 a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the hearts. And that's Hebrews 4.12, at least, you know, sections of it. Uh, prepare also to meet God. As you read, he is not dead. Never said he was. I've never said that about Captain Ahab, although technically at the end of the story he seems to be dead. But, you know. <sighs> Who knows? I mean, even like Apollonius and Hercules were both, you know, uh, apotheosized, or what is it? Uh, they became, they rose and sit next to their daddy. Sky daddy. Uh, prepare also to meet God as you read it. Uh, yeah, he is not a dead letter. Wait, wait. He is not dead, and his word is not a dead letter. There, I read it right. He is well able to satisfy your spiritual needs if you are willing to accept his claim upon your life. And into a quotation there, uh, come up. Today, if ye will have his voice Harden not your hearts. And that's Hebrews 3, 7, and 8. And, oh, that's it. Anyway, that seems like a whole lot of nothing to me, but, you know, I got, you know, let's peer review this. You've heard. What do you think? Um, and this is uh, Rod and Staff Publishers, Inc., Crockett, Kentucky. I'll close that, close that information. Anyway, that's the end of this one. This this missive. Anyway, do, do, you, do you feel like it convinced you in any way? Uh, are you transformed? Inspired, perhaps? Uh, I know I'm not. But, uh, anyway. I'm going to roll for the uh, next two videos. I'm going to get out my Dungeons and Dragons dice. There's the cover. And I need, let's see, eight ciders now. That's ten. Ten. Surprised I don't have that many eight sided dice. They haven't lasted. These are all relics of uh, hours of wasted time. But not really. It was fun. Hmm. I might have to roll this one dice twice and I'll find another one. Here it comes. Damn. That's the smallest 20 day I've ever seen. Well, this is totally messed up. Out of all these dice, I only have one eight-sided dice. That's some shit. Okay, I'll just roll this twice. We'll do it the hard way. All right, here's for the, uh, let's see. There's eight tracks in here. And uh, one through eight will be the next one. If I roll the same dice twice, then I'll read this unrelated tract. We'll go through this. I got this all planned out. Okay, and we have, it's four. Can you see that? It's four. All right. So, let's see. What am I going to roll this time? This will be the following one. And it is, whoa, I got tracks covering it. It's an eight. It is an eight. Okay. So, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, that was four. 
One, two, three. Oh, good. Four. Is there such a place as hell? Looking forward to it. Okay. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. The mysterious yet poetic desecration of the of the rosebuds. Sounds so harlequin. <sighs> Anyhow, uh, so I have plenty of six-sided dice, so we're good for the next uh, as we whittle through. And um, stay tuned. Let me know if you've learned anything thus far. And uh, I'll see you in hell. Peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. I'm going to chill for a spell. <laughs>